<laughs> what is going on, people? Just wanted to come out here, show you guys the new 2022 Indian Pursuit. <laughs> Up in the just a couple days ago but man you know i'm going to tell you right now first of all indian motorcycles website does not give this justice at all i'm going to tell you a couple things that i've done to it and i'm going to ask you some opinions and some things i'm hoping to do maybe um yeah, so first thing you could see is one of the reasons why I bought the Indian Pursuit is that I feel that it is a very versatile motorcycle. Uh, every Indian motorcycle's rest, backrests, um, trunks, they all are quick detached. Now, you can put a security screw in, which means that, that they can't take it off, but no matter what, you can always do it. So I wanted to show all you guys, first of all, this is how I'm going to rip on it. It says Pursuit right here. Yes. Um, but I very much am rocking this like a Challenger. So the first thing I did was add this little, I call it a speed bump. <laughs> it's not much of a backrest, but I'm calling that still a speed bump sissy bar. Um, I went ahead and transferred over my Arlen Ness. Uh, mirrors just because i i really dig in the look of it with this challenger or pursuit the i think it matched the fairing lines match really well uh i did take that giant tour windshield off i put my freedom shield back on so i have a couple dream items that i'm thinking about trying to do um i have a couple things from clockworks coming that are gonna be badass i'm very excited for that um, I think I'm going to switch out these rear crash bars to my TLC bars. I kept those too. Now, if you listen real quietly, or listen. She's pretty quiet, so I got a stock. I still got stock uh, everything else on there, except for what I pointed out. But man, all right, let's go ride. Let's chat just a little bit. Uh, apparently, I got to get fuel. That would be my first tank of fuel done, so I'll get some fuel today. My um, wanted to say, you know, uh, I I hated on this uh, brake pedal a lot, and it's not. It's I think I've gotten used to it, uh, but I do want to say something different about the 22 than the 20 now I and the 21s are a little bit more like the 20s and the 22s uh, you know what there's a lot of refinement done yes they're the same per se but I do feel that that the refinement is better things fit better like they just they're just better <laughs> just things you know, well, one is this only has 147 miles now, where my Challenger, when I traded her in, had 37,200 and like 20 miles. So quite the difference, right? I mean, and we all know I rode that bad boy. I put her in good. I, she never, I loved every mile. The matter of fact riding up to pick up this baby and trade her in I had a blast it was a great ride I mean uh, let's talk a little should I talk a little bit about um, why I traded her in I'll, I'll tell you I think it was the versatility of the pursuit coming with the trunks coming with the hard lowers I think I'm gonna leave the lowers on as, as of right now I don't have any intentions on leaving those those aren't gonna be coming off on and off like the trunk is We'll see if, uh, you know, if it gets real, real hot in the summers right now. I'm not going to have that. It's obviously the end of the season. I had this bad boy on order for a really long time. I do got to say I need to thank my home dealership, Indian Motorcycle of St. Paul. 
because really, um, you know, they were the market right now for used motorcycles are very high. They gave me an extremely fair price. And I have talked to some friends that have also told me that Indian Motorcycle of St. Paul have given them some extremely fair trade in values, you know, um, everything from Yamaha Raiders to Challengers. My, I know a couple of guys that have traded in Challengers now and bought a Pursuit. And, and yeah, it's and also some of the guys bought other the newer Challengers because of color scheme or elites or whatever. So, I, I just got to say thank you to those guys. Um, they work with me so much. You know, they help me. Uh, I did already put the adaptive headlight on this one. They actually let me switch it out off the Challenger, which, I mean, if that's kind of, if you're on the fence about, if you have a Challenger and you kind of want to pursue, you want you want to make the, the leap into the full tour bike, um, a lot of your customization things, a lot of them are switched easy. Headlights are switched easy. Lighting, crash bars, stuff like that switched easy. Windshields, easy. Mirrors, easy, right? Um, it gets a little hard when you start talking about bars. That's a little bit different because bars are a little bit, a little more time consuming, stuff like that. But I'm, I'm psyched, guys. I'm psyched to, to make this switch. Um, Minnow loves the the trunk so she doesn't really love the fact that i uh took it off but you know it is what it is that's how i'm rocking out right now but i need advice i need advice so on these things that you've seen what are some of the things you think i need to do um some of the things are lined up that were probably that you might suggest and i may or may not talk about it uh you know for for example an exhaust, right? I need an exhaust. So what are your guys' favorite exhausts? Um, I'm all open. Um, I probably have an exhaust coming, um, ordered or whatever. We'll see. And, uh, but yeah, what are some of your other ideas? What do you think about the cubby or the speakers? Do you have an opinion on those? Um, speakers in the saddlebag lids? I just... I didn't think they were worth my money last time, so I'm having a kind of a hard time pulling the trigger on that this time around. I'm just not sure, you know? So those are things I would love to hear your opinion. If you guys, you know, what do you think? I'm, my thought is I should put speakers in the hard lowers and leave the saddlebag speakers um, not even on. Just, just leave it stock. So... I don't know. What do you guys? What do you? What do you think? You think I'm wrong or right? You think I'm crazy? What do you guys have? Um, I'm probably gonna upgrade the audio in the fairing as well. It comes with the five and a quarters or whatever, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put the six and a halfs in there. I'm fairly certain. So that'll give me those uh, in the fairing. By the way, I will say though that. Um, I can hear at all speeds. I can hear the radio right now. Now, I do constantly reach up. I, I have a little hack coming that I think I've heard really good things about that that uh, is going to help me with my fairing audio and stuff. So that's exciting to check that out. But, man, this is a good-looking bike. Like, can you see the sparkle? She's a little dirty already. But she is so beautiful. Damn, I'm telling you guys, this pearl white does not, does not do it justice. The pictures are not, not even close. It's so nice. And then the inner fairing is painted um, with a, I forget what it's called. It's like a sparkly black, whatever that is. I, I'll have to think about it for a second. But... The fairing is beautiful. I mean, there's just the fit and finish. They got better. They got better from 2020, 2021. Um, saddlebag lids, I feel like they're better. I also felt like I had really bad ones on my 2020 Challenger. I had friends that had better. I had friends 
that had issues, lots of issues, or a friend that had a lot of issues with his bag. But I think that was an installment issue um, by the people that installed it. They still got this little nut here they didn't feel, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably leave it. I love my challengers. Why would I switch it now? But yeah, listen to this. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, bone stock. Oh, bone stock. But she's a ripper. She's a ripper. Bone stock, she's a ripper. I love it. It's so fun. It, it's just like... Yeah, you guys hear that? This bike is a ripper, boy. I'm not sure... Oh, she let me go. I was surprised by that. Yeah, I'm just... Guys, I've been... These... This, oh, okay. You, she doesn't know. Nobody knows what they're doing. Drive aggressive and defensive at the same time. Wop! Wop! So, I'm going to run into the store. I'm going to buy some stuff for dinner. Um... But yeah, guys, I wanted to just bring it up just a little bit about some of the things, why, uh, if it, and if it wasn't for Indian Motorcycle St. Paul being so helpful, you know, you know, they knew I didn't want the stock, the stock uh, headlight, you know, so they said, we'll just switch it for you, it's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure I owe those technicians some dinner or something. <laughs> You guys, if you make friends with anybody at the dealership, make friends with the techs. <laughs> I'm telling you, my boys, my boys over there have always, they always treat me so good. But yeah, oh, where should I park this bad boy? How about over here? Like that. We'll do a walk around. Yeah, you guys want to do another walk around? Probably not, but yeah, I'll get a walk around anyway. But yeah, look at her versatile the most the most i mean a harley davidson uh ultra glide you know comes with the trunk they come with hard mounted trunks everything's blacked out i mean it's blacked out even like the rear uh i didn't put a stage one on here you guys i told you guys that um is very minimal amount of performance gained and I didn't lie so I didn't put it on I thought about it I thought about pulling it off the other one to like just hope I get a little something but I, I didn't do it <sighs> yeah she's a beauty though I'm telling you all right guys um, this is a quick video it's a little bit of me buying it yeah I bought it what should I do you guys got suggestions it's gonna be fun pretty excited so this guy's working his tail off over there as i'm playing yeah i don't know let's uh let's end it right hard right fast and somebody you don't know please.